blessings, greetings, and a welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? What a beautiful day it is being here, being present with you. That in itself is a gift. This is Lisa Bubari, your expert hypnotherapist and the person who is here to help you heal within with real talk. So what is real talk? What is it that we're going to be talking about today? I want to express first and foremost, because yesterday was uh, International Women's Day for all the women in here being present in my life and for those of you who are watching for the first time may this day be the day that you realize what a gift you are and that you matter because we are grace we are a gift and i think it doesn't matter if you are good bad right wrong the color the religion the race it is accepting yourself for all that you are. And for that, happy International Women's Day and week. Celebrate it. You know, years ago, the condo that I used to live, um, my neighbor knocked on the door and she came in with this beautiful bouquet of flowers. And I looked at her and I said, it's not my birthday. And she said, I know, but it's International Women's Day. You know, that's, we're talking about seven, eight years ago that most people in America were not celebrating it. I, it, I had not even heard of it. And she said, but in Eastern countries, in Russia and Armenia, that is one of the biggest days that they are celebrating. It's bigger than a birthday. And I thought to myself, that's amazing. It's saying thank you to all the women in our life. And it can be from mom, it can be from our aunts, cousins, colleagues, best friends, or you know what? We think about it, it's our ancestry. It's the lineage we come from. So all the women before us, you know, this umbilical cord that it's connected, right? And we just have to say thank you to our ancestry for being exactly where we are today. And I'm a true believer that everything that has been a part of my life has been a part of my life for me. So every single experience, everything I go through has been one stepping way of sharing and giving me experiences, teaching me things because I have learned. And I hope you take a look at your life and realize, yeah, it's good to be where I am. And if you think of the downfalls or the things that has been a negative for you, look at the lessons because I think there is a lesson in everything. I was talking to a lady and she said, uh, it is hard for her to accept compliments. And I love complimenting. I love complimenting. And it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. I, you know, everyone knows I stop for dogs. I stop for children to compliment. Um, and, you know, it's saying how precious or how beautiful something is. If I'm at a restaurant and I compliment the waiter or the waitress, it doesn't matter because what I see, I want to share. Recognize a good service, recognize that they smell good. If a woman comes in the perfume, I say, it's absolutely beautiful. You smell awesome. Um, if they are dressed to a T or they have something absolutely beautiful on them, like a brush, I compliment about that. And what they say, I compliment what I heard from you. It's very touching. It is beautiful. 
And when you hear a compliment that is truly genuine, you feel that energy. You feel that person's compliment as a gift. And here's something. I don't know how you feel, but do you accept compliments easily? Or do you cringe? Or you have to say something back and compliment back? Is it easy for you to say thank you? Thank you for noticing this and just stay with it and hone it in? Or do you hear the compliment and you say thank you, but this is, and then come up with the excuse or say something to make it right? You know, I think if we all learn how to accept and appreciate compliments, we also recognize that the person who's giving the compliment, they feel something, they see something, or they hear something that resonates with them, and that's why they compliment. So when we say thank you, what if the next time you say thank you and you say thank you for noticing or thank you for I'm glad what I said resonated with you or it touched your heart. I'm glad you like this if it reminds you of something. So that in itself, it says not only thank you, but I appreciate what you see, what you hear, and what I did made a difference. So that that's, that's what all the gifts in our life is, even with our partners, our friendships. And if we just come to accept and know what compliments are. And I'm not talking about the ones that we compliment uh, if someone is being sarcastic because sarcasm in itself has a very negative connotation and it doesn't sit well. And yes, I know there are so many that are like snip snip, yet it says something about them not necessarily about you. And if you take it with a grain of salt and you smile and let go, let it go if it's not about you and realize it's about them. And when someone is genuinely complimenting, it's also about them and they see something that um, it's saying how wonderful you are it's that gift it is a gift i think compliments are small little tokens of gift so there was a time um, that i did not want to show up and put my pictures on until someone in the marketing industry in in uh, in instagram said you know it's great to write your quotes. It's, it's great to put all kinds of pictures, but people want to see you. They want to see your face. They want to recognize that when you are writing a quote or saying something, who is it that they are connecting with? And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just like right now, maybe my hair is off my colors are off maybe lipstick is off my lips are off it doesn't matter but it is about the message and how you receive it that matters so if you think about it and sit back and think about how you how often you compliment or how often have you been complimented and you think, hmm, is it easy for me to receive it? And when I receive it, what do I do? So 
Uh, another, pro uh, another way of that is instead of reacting, what if you take a moment and you respond? So reaction is like, I'm going to give it back to you so that it's like, okay, tit for tat, or you hone it in and you respond accordingly. And it can be, hmm, what do you see in this? Well, thank you, but what about what I said mattered? What about what you see touched your heart? What about this color makes you feel good? And that also creates a way of opening a conversation, having a conversation together. That can speak volumes and it's not well oh i love your purse thank you what about my purse do you like i enjoy it what about what you enjoy makes you feel good and when we start opening a dialogue to talk about it, we realize that now it is a bigger conversation than that. So the last time, it was just a few days ago, I'm in the park and I had uh, my dog with me. We're walking around and someone passed by and they had their own dog and they said, oh, I love your dog. And I said, thank you thank you he truly is a happy dog he loves to run around and kiss and jump on people and that's why i'm training him not to be a jumper because he's just a happy doggy and i looked at her dog and it was very cute and t tender and my dog went and i said may my dog approach yours and she said of course so as we approach, and I said, that is so lovely. Is she always, and that's how a conversation starts. When you compliment someone, their smile makes you smile too. It's a win-win situation, more complimenting. Exactly. See, compliment, thank you, Adrian, for this. Compliment makes people smile. And when we smile, it creates this little thing inside that it can be in a split second that reminds them of something good about them, right? And that brings a smile. And what is a smile? It's a small little endorphin that reminds you of joy. And joy is internal. So there is a lot of things in our life from the outside that can make us happy. But what is happy? It's an external thing that it may come to pass real fast. But joy is grounding yourself and anchoring yourself at a time and a place that feels good and it tingles all over your body. And when you tap into that scene, to that moment, to that feeling, it makes you smile all over again. It's like having that piece of dark chocolate. And you know, the way to eat a dark chocolate is you put a piece of that dark chocolate and instead of swallowing it or chewing real fast, I just swallowed it because it felt so good. See, this is what auto uh, immune is. It's like, automatic reaction is when the body already remembers something and it responds it responds to that so if i place a small piece of dark chocolate and on my tongue i'm supposed to push it up to the upper palate and allow that <clears throat> oh my god i'm it's as if I am having a dark chocolate right now. And 
right before you swallow it, it it just touches the upper palate. And all the little, little nerve endings take that and feel the sweetness and the bitterness and the potency of the chocolate and the cocoa. And it awakens all the tiny little nerve endings in your mouth and on your tongue that it's all taste buds. They come to blossom and awaken. And when it touches all over your mouth and when you swallow it, it the endorphins that it creates, that saliva, when you swallow it, that's the incredible taste of chocolate sweetness and uh, brings all the good feelings of joy. When a woman is having a menopausal effect or even during menstrual cycles, if they put a piece of chocolate in your mouth, in your mouth, in their mouth, it doesn't matter, maybe it's you, it brings a sense of joy and relaxation and calms your entire um, mood and balances it out. It's incredible how a piece of chocolate, only a small little piece of chocolate can do that. And remember, a small piece is good enough. That's the only thing we can do because there is no such thing as perfection. So a little, all you have to do is know this little chocolate, this piece of chocolate that I truly enjoy and brings me joy and I close my mouth and I taste it, awakens so much within me and that is pure joy. And you say thank you to your body thank you to yourself and that is the best compliment you can do for you which is wink bring joy enjoy what it is that you taste you hear you speak you wear and you touch awakening all your senses and when you do it share that spread it and say the same thing to someone else. I hope today's message resonates with you and that you get away, take away, and sprinkle it with others. With that, I want to thank you. From today on, I'm gonna come live on our Heal Talk Tuesdays and it doesn't have to be long. It's about the nuggets. It's about the joy. It's about the connection I have with you. And remember, to celebrate yourself is to say yes to you. So when you feel good, it's so much easier for you to compliment and share your joy. And when you are complimented, receive it and say thank you, and perhaps open a conversation with that. This is Lisa. It's called Heal Within. Enjoy, compliments, thank you is the first steps of validation. When you validate yourself and you have that self pride and the internal joy, it's so much easier for you to say yes to you. So show up and stand up. Today's message was thank you. I hope uh, you have an incredible week. Continue celebrating with all your loved ones and say thank you to all the women, your lineage, your ancestry, who have helped you, guided, supported, stood up, and gone through their own challenges to pave the way to where we are today. This is Lisa. This has been a segment of Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. God bless you and may the universal light 
surround you. See you next week. Oh, you're welcome, Sena John. You're welcome. We might connect tonight. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.